Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Creme 2 News First at 4. I'm Tom Sherry. Welcome, everyone. I'm Regina on Whitney is off tonight. Well, WSU fans are going to have to wait at least another week to see the Cougs. Yeah, it broke this afternoon that the Cougars had not met the Pac 12's 53 scholarship player threshold and would not be able to play against Stanford tomorrow. Brenna Green joins us now with the latest. Brenna. Hi, Tom and Regina. Yeah, part of the reason why the Cougs couldn't meet that 53 scholarship player number was due to, you guessed it, coronavirus. The Pac-12 released a statement saying that due to po positive tests on the Cougars and the resulting contact tracing, the Cougs could not get to 53 players. WSU's Pat Chun also added that there were other factors. Those other factors were a combination of injuries, opt-outs, and transfers this season. We did just get off a call with Chun, and he told the media that nine players are currently in COVID protocol and that a Another, or and that four were added to that nine, uh, getting it to nine today, uh, this morning due to testing. As of Saturday, the football team had no players in the protocol, and Chun says that the first positive case came either Monday or Tuesday. Being in the protocol means you've either tested positive or you've had a close contact with someone who's tested positive. Several reports indicate that at least one of the players to come down with the virus is WSU quarterback Jaden Delora. The biggest question for the Cougs now is what happens with the Apple Cup since that game is literally a week away. It could be a possibility that that game gets moved to Saturday or Sunday or if it works better for WSU players in the protocol, but that remains to be seen. Nick Rolovich also said in a statement, quote, I'm disappointed for our team and our players. They have battled through so much this year. We had a good week of practice and we're excited to play this game. I recognize the pain they feel with this lost opportunity, but this 2020 football team is a resilient group of young men. This is not the first piece of coronavirus news out of the university this week. WSU head basketball coach Kyle Smith also tested positive for the virus. Back to you. Well, the holidays are sure to be much different this year because of the pandemic. But Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward announced plans today for some ways to safely celebrate some holiday traditions. Yeah, those plans include a proclamation of the next four Saturdays as Small Business Saturdays. The sister of the city is also partnering with 20 local vendors. They're going to be holding a winter marketplace every Wednesday night at the U.S. Pavilion in Riverfront Park. And the annual tree lighting at Riverfront Park will be virtual. This will kick off the Riverfront Park tree walk through the new year. The city is also working on a drive through holiday light show at Manitou Park. Mayor Woodward acknowledges that these are difficult times and she hopes that these events will bring some joy to the community during these difficult times. People need their spirits lifted during this time. Um, and we want to be able to provide safe activities and alternatives for them to do that. And we can make downtown a safe place for people to come. They can come hopefully to ice skate very, very soon. They can walk to the park and see all the trees that are lit up and the additional light displays that we have. And be sure to join us tonight at five for additional events. The city has planned to roll out this holiday season. Well, today the Spokane Regional Health District has announced 227 new coronavirus cases. Two new deaths have also been reported. Currently, 114 COVID-19 patients are hospitalized, 89 of which are Spokane County residents. And today, Gonzaga University announcing the cancellation of all spring 2021 study abroad programs. With many countries keeping travel restrictions in place, students cannot safely travel abroad. Instead, the university is offering virtual and digital opportunities to experience Florence. To sign up, you can send an email to that contact info on your screen there. The Center for Global Engagement is working to run study abroad programs for summer 2021 and also fall of 2021. Application for fall 2021 open December 15th. And today, MultiCare has announced new coronavirus visitor restrictions for hospitals and clinics. They're pretty strict. Visitors will not be allowed unless they are the parent or caregiver of a patient under the age of 17. NICU patients are only allowed two visitors or caregivers within a 24 hour period, and only two support people are allowed during the labor and birth process. Adults who are getting surgery can only have one visitor, and that's just for transportation purposes. Patients who have tested positive for COVID-19 cannot have visitors. Exceptions include end-of-life patients, pediatric patients, and family birth center patients. Uh, all allowed visitors or caregivers will be screened for symptoms. Everyone is required, of course, to wear a mask. 
Also tonight, a $135 million federal relief package is coming for small businesses, workers and families in Washington. On Sunday, a $50 million package was announced, but today Governor Jay Inslee announced it has been more than doubled. Now, according to Inslee, Washington is on track to exhaust all of the state's coronavirus relief funds. Yeah, the new package includes $70 million in business grants, $30 million in business loans, $20 million for rental assistance. That will also go towards helping landlords who aren't receiving any rent. And $15 million will go towards energy assistance for low-income families. We are in a very difficult situation, and we are acting to save people's lives in the state of Washington. But we also need to act to help people whose economic prospects have been damaged by this pandemic. So we are acting today in a significant way to help our business community in the difficult uh, days they have uh, responding to the pandemic and some of the restrictions that have been necessary to save lives in the state of Washington. And businesses will be able to apply for the grants within the next week. It will be through the Washington Department of Commerce website. And today, Inslee also announced a cap on third party delivery fees to help restaurants struggling to stay afloat. Delivery fees charged to the restaurant will be capped at 15% and total fees at 18%. All right, let's talk about weather now. Tom, it was so nice to see yeah. a little bit of sun out there. I yeah. went running. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, great. And we're going to get more of it. You're going to love tomorrow as well. Boy, it looks very pretty down there in Riverfront Park, as you can see. We're at 42 degrees. Winds are out of the south-southwest at 7 miles per hour. So you can see that we've got partly cloudy skies out there right now. But uh, And again, some cloud cover moving. In. And look at that up in northeastern Washington. Looks like a little bit of light snow now beginning to fall up there. There you go. There's a look. Uh, kind of in the Kettle Falls. Northport area and up around Medellene Falls. So a little light snow, but for most of us, we've enjoyed plenty of sunshine. We'll look for more sunshine uh, tomorrow and uh, daytime high of 44. Cold mornings, though, down into the upper 20s. Increasing clouds uh, looks like on Sunday. And by Sunday night late into early Monday morning, we could see a little, a few snow showers as well. Uh, we'll track more of your seven-day forecast coming up in a few minutes.